Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Made Mod Fashion and my name is Kim. Today I am going to show you how to make a very simple summer dress. It is super flowy and it is super easy to make. It is labor intensive, I will say, if you are making it exactly like this. But if you only have to make one layer, it is perfectly doable. Um, I have been doing okay considering. I find it best for myself to stay offline and to not absorb any incredibly saddening news because I simply just cannot handle anything mentally. So. I am aware of what's happening. I am staying indoors, partly because of COVID and partly because I feel like it might be actually safer for me to stay indoors. Things are very different, I would say, this time around than they were several years ago. Um, I hope you are staying safe and I hope you are advocating for change and I hope you are truly making steps towards changing. I hope you are doing okay. <laughs> I did not come on here to cry. Okay, okay. To help brighten both of our moods, I hope you enjoy this very summery DIY. Today I have on this nice necklace I found from a antique store. It was like 10 bucks or 12, so you know, it's not worth much, but it's so, beautiful even if you are a beginner I promise you this is like sewing a pillowcase but like sewing six times 12 pillowcases but it's you know it's totally fine stay tuned for next week where I will be doing something else and um, if you would like you can like this video and also subscribe to my channel we are slowly growing we are, <laughs> once was at zero subscribers and now here we are at 44 which is you know it's news to me and it's exciting so without further ado here is my very easy simple yet elegant summer dress Okay, so the plan for this dress is to cut out six different rectangular tiers that are all increasing in length. And so I've decided to cut the first tier, which will be at the top near the bust, at 60 inches. And then each tier after that, I've increased it by 20 inches. So the second tier will be 80, then 100, 120, 140, and finally the last tier at the bottom near the feet is going to be 160. Each tier is going to be six inches wide, except for the first one, which will be eight, because there is going to be an elastic channel sewn in the middle, or at the top, near the middle. When these tiers get sewn together, there is going to be a scalloped trim that is attached. So just like the other rectangular pieces for the actual dress, these scalloped trims will be cut at the same lengths, but the width will only be two inches. There are going to be four straps cut two inches in width and 18 inches in length. Here is my cutting map and my whole fabric is like 200 inches long by 58 inches wide. Everything in yellow is the trim, so I'm just going to like make one giant long strip of trim and just cut it as needed. And then here in blue, I've got my straps for the shoulders. Okay, I've listed out all of the steps I need to do to get this dress done. The first step is cutting out all the fabric pieces. Here is all 
of the fabric. Now I just need to serge everything. Well, bad news. I broke my serger. It broke itself. But I was able to get some of the trim with my rolled edge. So I'm just gonna have to proceed without it. So now I'm going to stitch all of my trim pieces together and I'm gonna create one long 600 inches of trim. Here's tier one. It will be gathered to 40 inches. This is cut at 80 and I need to gather it down to 60. This is the top of tier one. Here's the bottom of tier one. So now I'm just going to sandwich this trim in between the right side of tier one and the right side of tier two. to attach the last trim to the last tier. It's been a long journey, but I'm finally ready. take this fabric that I bought two, three years ago, I think, in New York. This nice linen fabric, and I'm going to cut it up. So I'm gonna gather this whole edge down to 38 inches. Okay, now I'm going to stitch both the inside dress and the outside dress closed. So what you need to do is just put them right sides together and then stitch along the outs or along this edge. And I'm gonna stitch it at half an inch. There's just about three more steps left. I hand stitched the hem off camera, so that is all done.
So now that my lining has been turned inside out, I am going to stuff my turkey by putting the right side of the dress through the center. Once it's all in, match the center back seam with the center back seam. Then I'm gonna match the center front seam. And now I can start pinning along the edge. So when it comes to making the straps, I find it easiest to pull the whole strap out, but that's not how it's gonna get sewn down. I'm going to make sure I keep it in place, turn it so the right side of the strap is facing the right side of the fabric, and then I'm gonna do a little tuck. So now it's gonna sew through several layers of the strap and it'll be a lot more secure. And then I will pin it in place. Couple of things. I need to do a top stitch right here all along the top edge so I can like keep the lining down. And then I will get my elastic channel in. Now that you have your elastic channel cut and pressed, it is time to stitch it in between the outer layer and the linen lining. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is make some hanger loops and I'm just cutting a decent length, stitch them near where the side seams are going to be so that I can actually protect my dress when it's hanging and this is literally the last thing I'm doing and I'm so excited. So this is the top of the dress. You want to stitch your hanger loops down like this so that they hang down. You don't want to stitch them up because then you'll be battling every day to like make them hang down. So if you stitch them where they're facing down, you don't have to deal with the annoying hanger loop. So let me stitch these in and then I'll be ready to go. Just to get where you 